Dennis. Dylan Dennis has been on a bit of a tear, terrorizing Logan Paul and his soon to be wife Nina. And I don't understand it. I get it from the sense of trolling. I think it's an amazing way to troll somebody for an up-and-coming boxing fight. If you don't know who Dylan Dennis is, he's a well-known, well-regarded jiu-jitsu practitioner. But over the years, has kind of fell, you know, out of favor with a lot of MMA and UFC fans because, you know, of his kind of... Um, because of how much I guess he used to suck up to Conor McGregor because he was a big part of his kind of contingents, con you know, kind of click and the beef we had with Khabib and then not following through on some of the fights and, you know, talking a lot of smack but not actually following through with the, you know, with actually going in the ring and defending. So next thing I want to talk about is Dylan Dallas versus Logan Paul. I'm a little bit confused by this because I think in general, this really does illustrate just how little I understand about this new wave or this new perspective that some men have about women on social media. It's kind of been gnarly to see it play out in real time. So if you haven't been paying attention, Dylan Dennis, who is a jujitsu champion and a black belt and a badass in his own regard, is now going to face Logan Paul in an up and coming boxing match and um or boxing fight sorry and the whole sort of build up towards it is that logan and dennis and dylan dennis don't get on that much and dylan dennis in an effort to kind of troll and to promote the fight has been uploading all of these random pictures of logan paul's soon-to-be wife nina with loads of random men and if you look at a lot of these pictures a lot of these pictures kind of feature um logan paul's soon-to-be wife just standing next to dude so you don't actually know what this actually means does it mean that because she's standing next to this guy that she slept with him or does it mean that all of these guys that she was stood next to she was somehow romantically involved with or sexually involved with back in the day whatever it may be it's become like a running troll um on logan and i guess logan hasn't helped things because essentially if i'm not mistaken he might have sent dylan dallas a cease and desist he might have blocked dylan dennis there's been a lot of kind of you know i'm not really sure how to kind of read everything that's happened but essentially you know logan hasn't been too pleased about how dylan has been kind of going non-stop at his soon-to-be wife <clears throat> and what we basically seen online is a lot of people interpreting that most likely Dil you know logan paul's wife may have been romantically or sexually involved with a lot of these guys that she's been pictured with over the years and don't get me wrong the girl's only maybe i guess in her late 20s or early 30s it is a bit alarming to see how many guys that she legitimately has been around but when you consider that she was a victoria's secret model considering that she's conventionally attractive she's blonde she's skinny um, she's good looking it doesn't really make it's not that surprising that she would always be in the company of men because women that look like that should always be in the company of men especially rich and famous men who can pay their way who can show them a particular type of lifestyle who just want to have a pretty girl next to them i'm sure those type of dudes exist guys with money who just want to have hot girls around them just because it looks cool and it looks swaggy to be surrounded or to be next to a hot girl as it does you know compared to you being around all these kind of sweaty dudes so that kind of makes a lot of sense but i guess if you believe the narrative that every guy that she's picked up with she's fucked and you're a kind of dude who has this vision of women that you know if they're not virgins that they're basically useless it can kind of be a bit funny to see dylan dennis go so crazy on nina and logan but i can't really understand it i don't really understand it because i basically live in the real world and the real world dictates to me that if i find somebody attractive most likely other people will find that person attractive too whether it's the you know them physically being attractive whether it's their personality being very attractive i'm sure attractive people get attention from a lot of people so if that's the case then it leads me to believe that most likely this person's been involved with other people somewhere along their life somewhere down the line right we would all kind of agree with that so if that's the case why is everyone bothering why is everyone stressing that you know that she may have had several boyfriends in the past that should be of no surprise if she is a former Victoria's Secret model, blonde and, you know, conventionally attractive. It makes absolutely no sense why that wouldn't make sense. Don't get me wrong. Some of the videos of her speaking about, you know, her sexual exploits, you know, back in the day on interview shows is a bit funny, especially if you're somebody that had recently proposed to her. But if I'm somebody looking at this from the outside in, I'm more concerned or it makes me laugh way more that Logan Paul allegedly uh, proposed to this woman 
um, with a half a million diamond ring, um, sorry, engagement ring, but then he still hasn't refund the guys from CryptoZoo. The kids that he fucking scammed at CryptoZoo where he only owes them 1.5 million. I say only because, you know, Logan's got that. Not to pocket wash the guy, but he has 1.5 million to make that right. And he promised he would do this again. The thing about this promise that he gave to these guys who invested in CryptoZoo, he said from his own mouth after CoffeeZilla hounded him, after being embarrassed online and shit and doing those cringy response videos and shit, he said from his own mouth that he would make it right and refund these guys 1.5 million and he refuses to do so. He wants to fly his girlfriend out to these amazing locations to do a really romantic proposal, give her an engagement ring that allegedly may have cost half a million, plan probably a very expensive wedding, talk about a very expensive honeymoon, and then tell his girlfriend to shut the fuck up on the podcast when she was speaking about it all of this stuff that you would assume costs a lot of money but then refuses to spend 1.5 million to make it right to the people that he alleged legitimately had scammed that for me is way more egregious than the possibility that logan paul may have married a girl that people class as being a slut or class as being a whore who gives a fucking fuck like really who honestly cares about this stuff i really don't i more care about the fact that he has legitimately you know um come to a place where he has refused repeatedly to refund these guys from crypto zoo and give them their money back when he could easily in my opinion easily pay back the 1.5 million like easily pay back that 1.5 million but he refuses to but more people are sitting here legitimately genuinely upset that he may have married somebody that might be a flipping um you know might be someone that people class as being a whore a slag a slut or whatever it may be i just think that is really naive really immature to think somebody that is in their mid 20s or a late 30s or early 30s whatever it may be and that looks the way that she does is going to be in pure to the point where you're going to meet her and she only has had one or two sexual partners it doesn't make any fucking sense personally for me but we live in a world and society where men legitimately are sitting there thinking that the more attra again that's the thing is crazy it might be one thing if you're into the girl next door vibe right and you find out that she's got 1000 bodies fair enough you might have to have a little fucking you know question and answer section with the god upstairs about whether or not you should propose to the person but if you're going after women who are legitimately attractive and other men legitimately like and let's be honest most men on this earth especially white men love a blonde woman so if that's the case why would you think a woman that looks like that would have no prior sexual relations with with people like what makes you legitimately think what gives you that entitlement what makes you so arrogant to think that you would be the first person to ever touch her it doesn't make any sense when she is desirable to all men right if you got money if you don't have money whatever it may be i'm sure there's guys and kids out there who are fucking cut her pictures up out of fucking sports illustrated or victoria's secret model catalogs and stuck them on their wall she's probably on the wall of fucking prisons across the united states and parts of the fucking globe so to think that no other guy has imagined jacking off on her or has had the opportunity to bust inside of her is absolutely ridiculous so that's why i don't honestly understand this troll but for Logan, it's worked because unfortunately he has responded in a sensitive manner. And now once you respond that way, it's almost impossible, almost impossible for you not to look like your butt hurt and the troll never stops. That's the issue with trolling. Once you let people know what hurts your feelings, once you let them know, oh, this is out of bounds, you have to be respectful, you start doing all that pussy shit, people are never going to stop. So now that the people realize that, they're going to keep going. But the one thing that I did realize over the time of this trolling, which I didn't know realize before she's one of the girls that Leonardo DiCaprio has dated over the years so Leo has a thing about models and about dating models of a certain age she's one of those models I didn't know this because I'm not plugged into the Victoria's Secret fashion model scene and what they're all about and stuff but I found out through this trolling that she is one of Leonardo DiCaprio's exes which I think is quite swaggy I think that'd be quite swaggy to be a fucking, you know, an Eskimo brother with fucking Leonardo DiCaprio. That mean, must mean you're operating and moving in some fucking elite circles. But maybe I'm, you know, in the, I'm, I'm the one that's an idiot here. And maybe all these guys who are out here, you know, preaching the prophecy of being alpha 
are legitimately only knocking down, you know, um, super hot blondes that all also happen to be fucking virgins, which is insane. Unless they go to a church, it's not going to happen, really. And even if they are in a church, most likely the, the, the male parts go into the other holes. And if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But it's been quite funny to fucking see this play out. The troll has been quite amazing because it feels like there's been a non-stop amount of pictures that's the funny part about it like she has so many pictures online with her and dudes but i guess again like i said being a fucking victoria's secret model um being very attractive you're always gonna have men after you and if you don't mind hanging out with dudes and taking their money and enjoying their fucking company then you're gonna have a lot of pictures with them but i think when you just put them into order and you have them posted up online it looks crazy but i think overall i don't give a fuck so I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, if you do end up watching this clip later on, what do you think about this whole affair? Would would you be bothered if you were Leon, sorry, Leon, if you're Logan Paul and you saw these images of your soon-to-be wife with all these random dudes that maybe you weren't aware of, would it really bother you? Did you know about this prior? Um, is this an issue? Let me know down below in the subject, you know, in the fucking comments if you can. And I'd love to know if you honestly think former Victoria's Secret models should also be expected to be fucking... Um, virgins let me know why you think that or just let me know why in general you think if a girl has more than fucking five bodies that it basically means that she's a fucking prostitute please tell me in the comments down below why you think that because i would love to know some of these perspectives because i'm sure i'm probably missing a mark and i'm sure there'll be a con contingents of people out there who legitimately think i'm a simp which is fucking hilarious because i don't give a fuck about this girl she's not my type i wouldn't be into it in the slightest <coughs> but i'm sure some guys will think that i'm being a horror apologist and a simp in some regard so i'm eager to see and hear the opinions of you other guys when you do get into the comments and let me know what you think i'm eager to hear what you guys think